Hey everybody, so on this job, we were supposed to do this job late in the fall, but it just got too cold and the ground froze. So we had to wait for them to move the house on it. It's actually a double wide unit. So they, they deliver the house on these big trailers and then they, they pick them up and they set them down on the foundation. So we had to wait for them to do that and then heat the place to unthaw the ground. And then they give us the call to come in and do the concrete floor. So it's cold. I mean, it's the middle of winter and we show up and our expectations are that it's going to be heated and they're going to have the lights on. That's what we tell them. We need to have it heated and the lights on and it cleaned out. So it does make it a little more difficult when those things don't happen. So you're going to get to see what happened on this job right here and right now. Good morning. Good morning. What the hell you want? I was thinking a bag and a half. You got six yards, right? First load out. Probably bag and a half in you and two in the other. You want me to get it? I can get it. All, All right, right, so what do you want? Two bags? How you been, big guy? Good, you? Yeah. yeah. Good. Two bags, about a seven, seven and a half. Yeah.
So as you can see, it's dark where we are. We got the generator going. Um, the contractor had one light there, so we got the light put up. And we're just dealing with it. You know, we're happy to have work. We're not complaining at all. We just, you know, when we, when we, when people ask what we need and what we want, and we tell them, we just kind of expect that to happen when we show up, and not have to deal with, you know, all the stuff that they probably should have had ready for us. But we do it. I mean, it's we work together. It's all part of the deal being, you know, in construction like this sometimes, especially in the winters. So we're going to get this done, as you can see. And the concrete's setting up quick. It's hot, too. That's why it's foggy like that. The, the steam coming off the concrete is fogging it out pretty good. But we can see okay. Um, if we'd have a little bit more heat in here, if it was a little warmer inside here, we wouldn't have to deal with all this fog so much. But... It's, it's we've had worse so it's not too bad and we got that first truck dumped out and we do notice it's setting up pretty fast so the second one's coming it's up outside right now waiting for the first one to get out of the way so i'm going to go up and i'm going to back that one in Brian, I told him to go wash out up there and he didn't, so it's his fault. Yeah. You'd have seen him, right? It is him. Right? We'll see in a minute.
as you can see the pour turned out really good we had we had plenty of concrete you know we definitely don't want to run out on these pours um, it will deal with that one light we'll stick the heater in contractor did bring us some fuel for the heater so we'll stick that in the door and get some heat in there and warm it up Matt's Matt's doing us a big favor by washing our tools up as we go so thanks guys and make sure you check out this next video that's coming up right here we'll see you on the next one